Hey, welcome back. This is the Argonaut. We are here again in Adobe Photoshop, where this time doing something again of character painting, but slightly different, kind of a sci-fi theme because I was commissioned by my friend to do his Starfinder character. Uh, his name's Tullin. He's a human operative, kind of a pilot, duelist, dexterous character. And uh, yeah, just going to get right into it. Um, so I actually took a lot of good reference for this one. So that's nice. Uh, it made my, my job quite a bit easier. Also, he, uh, if you saw earlier in the video, gave me a little reference sheet as far as his gear, etc. And yeah, so let's hop into it. I am currently going over the base sketch with uh, the finalized line work. Uh, I will preface this by saying there were some errors with my screen capture. I am using uh, two monitors just so I can have my reference on one monitor and I can paint on the other. Apparently, uh, some of the recordings recorded only the other monitor. I think it was when I clicked on stuff and dragged it over after I already, uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened really, but basically some of the color work is not recorded. So what I did was I just kind of uh, threw in some stills to so you guys could see it. So uh, unfortunately I, I missed out on, on coloring uh, some of the face and some of his gear, but you know, that's all right. You can still see the majority of the process. So with that, I will leave it to play and hope you enjoy and we'll check back in.
right, so here I got the final lines, and I'm actually going to skip ahead to show that uh, I blocked in the color here as a color test, and unfortunately, <laughs> I um, didn't record the uh, painting of the skin, but you know, at least I could show you that shot of it. Yeah, so now we are back into the actual painting. Got the recording to get going again, so hey, you know, I learned something. <laughs> and this will most likely not happen again. But here we are painting the jacket, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the skin came out. Uh, you know, I spent a good amount of time on it, and you know, still trying to perfect it. That's always the most difficult and time-consuming part for me because I think it's kind of the most important because, you know, your, your eye really gets drawn to the face, and you know, you see faces all the time, so it's easy to pick out when something looks wrong, you know? You don't see flowing <laughs> open leather jackets all the time, so it's harder to see when that uh, when something's wrong with that. But here I was getting the green stripe in there, playing with some blending styles to see what I liked. And yeah, pretty happy with how it's coming out here so far. And here at least I get to show you some of the skin painting as I got to do the hands. Uh, later on, the only thing, the only thing we miss out on is the painting of the blaster and the belt, as well as the sword, which were, you know, maybe not the most interesting. Anyways, I'd like to think, but yeah, again, uh, next time I do something like this, I'll be <laughs> be sure I'm accurately recording it, so I don't run into this issue again. But I'll let it play out a little bit more, and I'll catch up with you later. Just finishing up the touches up here on the boot and this will be the last thing I actually got to capture but pretty happy with how the boot came out too actually I had a lot of fun drawing that one based off the reference and uh, kind of having to wing it but here is the final product so yeah I'm, I'm actually really happy with how this came out you know get a little pan going ooh cool uh, <laughs> my friend was happy too and yeah in general I think it was pretty successful it was a little bit different I normally focus on more fantasy themes and doing a little sci-fi was a fun change of pace so I hope you enjoyed it if you liked and want to subscribe please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one